Dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide, right? Yeah, it is. I wonder how warm it has to get for it to, to turn back into gas again. Hell if I know. How is that going to help us anyway? Oh, well, I figured we might be able to use it to get out of here. Carbon dioxide sublimation point is negative 109 degrees. Any warmer than that, and it'll turn into gas. Any lower, and it becomes a solid. Oh, how do you know that? <laughs> Despite my looks, I am the clean... <laughs> the queen of random knowledge. Looks bad to mess up when you're showing off. <laughs> oh, you're so cold your mouth's going numb? Yuff, that's fight. You're just doing that on purpose, aren't you? Come on, guys. Don't you think that's kind of weird? I wonder why it doesn't turn into a liquid first. Uh, it is kind of weird. Oh, but it can turn into a liquid! Oh, carbon dioxide turns to liquid if you put it under high enough pressure. But at one atmosphere, normal air pressure... It won't turn into a liquid, right? Oh, that's right. Instead of melting, it'll do what's called sublimating and change immediately from a solid state to a gaseous one. See, that is weird. Water's a liquid between 32 degrees and 212 degrees. So why isn't that the case for carbon dioxide? There's a kind of ice that doesn't turn into liquid when it goes above 32 degrees. Hmm? Huh? I heard about it. Its melting point is 96 degrees. Ice with a melting point of 96 degrees? You mean there's water that freezes at 96 degrees? Yeah, well, you could also look at it as ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. So what's this ice with a melting point of 96 degrees called? I heard it's called Ice 9. Ice 9? Originally, Ice 9 was a made-up substance invented by a science fiction author. <sighs> but recently, scientists have discovered that such a substance actually exists. Wait, hold up. So is this thing called Ice 9, or is it water? Like I said, if the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. If it's under that, it'll solidify. So you could think of it as a polymorph of H2O. Here, think of it like diamonds and graphite. They're both made of carbon, right? But depending on the structure of the crystallization, oh, the hardness and structure are completely different. So you're saying normal water and this Ice-9 are like that? Yep. Have you heard the story about the crystallization of glycerin? For 150 years after the discovery of glycerin, people cooled it, warmed it. They did all sorts of things to it. But whatever they did, it never crystallized. However, one day in 1920, some glycerin on its way to England by ship was discovered to have crystallized during the trip. Scientists around the world wanted to research this new, crystallized form of glycerin and asked for seeds. Oh, a seed is a sample of the original crystallized substance. With a seed crystal, further crystallization of glycerin would be easy. However, something very strange happened. Not only did the glycerin encouraged by seed crystals begin to crystallize, even the samples nearby did, even though they were tightly sealed. And it didn't end there. After that day, it doesn't matter where in the world it is, all glycerin crystallizes naturally when cooled to less than 64 degrees. Before that day, no matter how glycerin was cooled, it refused to crystallize. But once the crystallization had begun, it was almost like... How do I put it? It was almost like all the glycerin in the world was communicating. Communicating in some way that we can't sense. And now it's happening everywhere. Wow, that's, that's pretty interesting. But, uh, what does that have to do with Ice-9? 
What she's saying is that it's a lot like Ice Nine. What happened, I mean. A lot like? Oh, that would be bad. If water everywhere started freezing at 96 degrees, man, it'd be the end of the world. At any rate, we're not gonna have to worry about the end of the world unless we can get out of here pretty damn quick. All right, guys, I think that's enough of that. I didn't think we'd get quite this far off topic. I mean, I know I'm kinda at fault here, but we can't be screwing around anymore. So seriously, I might go by the name Santa right now, but I didn't grow up in Iceland. I freaking hate the cold. So let's get cracking, all right? We gotta find a way out of here. Selfish, isn't he? Ice Nine is interesting and all, but we can discuss it more once we get out of this freezer. Put water into the bottle with dry ice, and make sure the lid's closed. Now I just have to put this makeshift bomb on the doorknob. All right, that's set. So, uh, what do we do now? We just need to give it a little, uh, tap. The bottle's already about to pop. If we just throw a rock or something at it, it'll go off all on its own. A small rock? Huh, a small rock. All right, this ought to do the trick. Ah, some dry ice, huh? Not a bad idea. All right, guys, stand back. Actually, we should probably hide somewhere. Where exactly do you expect us to hide, genius? There isn't really anywhere big enough. Yeah, there is. Look, right here. We can hide in there. Come on, get inside, quick. All right, here I go. Three, four, five. You're counting the wrong way! Oh, oops. <laughs> that is a really sad excuse for a joke, man. Sorry, dude. Alright, for real this time. 
You guys ready? Yes, whenever you're ready. Just throw the damn thing. All right, here I go. Three, two, one. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone! The blast must have shattered it. Yes! All right, let's see if it opens. Hooray! We're out! Move! Oh, god damn it! Fuck! Well, you did just grab the grill. What did you think would happen? Hey, where's Lotus? Oh, uh, welcome back. I was starting to get tired of waiting for you guys. What were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? I was waiting. We were gonna die! Oh, yeah? But you didn't. So everything worked out all right, didn't it? But, what the hell? <laughs> Just kidding. It might not look like it, but I was really worried. Oh, don't give me that crap! Uh, I'm telling the truth. I mean, if you died, then I'd be in trouble, too. If you died, then I'd be stuck here, and I'd die, too. See? Uh. I did all I could. I even looked around to see if there was anything I could use to pry open the door. But I couldn't find anything. So, all I could do was wait. I mean, what else did you want me to do? Call the cops? Fine. But there's one thing I have to ask you. What's that? You didn't close the door, did you? What? You think I closed the door on you? Why would I do something like that? It closed on its own. I told you before, if you die, then I die too. Yeah, I guess so. If she really wanted to kill us, all she had to do was bar the door from the outside. But she didn't. Well, she didn't do anything. She's only lazy. Or negligent, at least. Not an attempted murderer. Well, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. Hmm? Oh, yes, well that's alright. As long as you understand. Hey, no more screwing around, you two! Break time's over. Especially for you, lady. You've just been sitting on that fat ass of yours while we were freezing to death. How rude! I was plenty busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about you put all that energy into something besides bitching? Let's go.